Assalamu alaikum guys welcome back to another exciting tutorial my name is Mansoor Bilal and you are watching CGH Tutors in this tutorial i will show you how you can model a hand in Autodesk Maya 2017 i already modeled this hand unfortunately i was not able to save this file as a tutorial but i will show you again that how you can model this so let's get started first of all let me show you how you can set different keys for doing that you need to go to windows and then settings hotkey editor and here you go choose menu item and then go to edit mesh and here you will find multi cut and insert edge loop in multi cut i set it the key alt s and in edge loop tool i set it the key alt x but you can choose your uh, but you can choose your own keys according to your own wish i am more comfortable with alt x and alt s so let's save these keys i already saved them and let's jump into the modeling section so as you can see this is a plane i set it top view because i am more comfortable with modeling this in a top view you can choose according to your own wish so first of all i will go to polygon and then i will draw box uh, right now i am in a wireframe mode but you can choose color shaded mode if you want to so let's make this box a bit larger so we can see what's going on and spread it according to hand gesture and its width and height make an edge here i already showed you how you can set keys so right now i am using those keys by adding edges first of all i will quickly block this in a basic shape and then i will go for details i'm going to hide this by pressing control h but you have to be in object mode otherwise it will not allow you to do that so it's height and now we are in a main top view then go to layout and two panel side by side i am choosing this because there is a reason behind this it will help me out to draw more quickly and i can see in a different perspective mode so i will be able to see that hand is going into right direction otherwise if i will draw this by just seeing from a top view it will not allow me to model this correctly so i think this area will be more like this and from thumb i will choose the faces and then i will go to extrude them and i will read topologize topology is very important while you are modeling because it will help your model to be in a correct order and then make this a bit down and a bit smaller and a bit round and i will do the same here we go after that let's add two to three edges around these edges because we want to extrude the fingers so i'm gonna select all these and i'm gonna press extrude and just take these to according to the fingers length and you can also select and deselect them by just going into vertex mode and here we go these will be like this and then i will i want to see the result so i will add one edge here one here and one here and also one here so now i can squeeze them according to my drawing situation 
this will take your time it's not like easy and you you will just go and draw and it will just give you the accurate result it's going to take some time it's not like magic you will press button and it will show you the final model modeling mostly takes time so here here our basic topology of this hand is done and now what i'm going to do i'm going to add more different details so here is the deal now first of all i need one line here one here and i want to put one line in all fingers in between them so here we go now the second thing i'm going to do by selecting these edges and making them round as much as i can do otherwise it's going to look funky and weird and i don't want that I think that's enough for this finger. Let's move to another finger and make them a bit large. Go there and there and select these and select these also. Make them round and also make them more round. And one more thing, you can draw basic topology as quick uh you can but when it came to detailing it's going to take a lot of time and as much time you will spend you will see the details and different accurate results so the old formula is correct that quality is related to time so i'm going to rounding things up and that's necessary if you want good modeling results it's not like the snap of your fingers and you will get results i wanted this tutorial to be as short but i think that's not going to happen especially while i am modeling okay the basic shape is drawn and let me check the results by just pressing 3 almost it's headed where i want almost it's headed so now press 3 to see the results and one thing i'm going to do i'm going to multi cut these lines and i'm going to delete the extra edges i don't need that because it will create an extra topology and we don't want that you will do from both sides from this side to another side for correct and good results now it's time to draw the nails so the basic nails and all modeling is done now it's time to uh correcting the shape as you can see this finger is looking very funny and i'm going to tell you that why it's looking funny because here these two lines these two vertex should be upward not downward like this and this should also go a bit upward and these two vertex also go into this direction so that were the reason it was looking not good and that happened with same with this these two lines 
and here we go and as you can see this nail is looking funny and this line should go there this line should go there and this line should go there also should go there also not this one so yeah now it's giving you the correct feel and it should be go a bit up to fix that I will do same with this one now go on to top view and draw lines these lines must be go here I'm gonna delete that here to here and here to here so I don't need that with the same from here to there and here to here and here is a pull tool so I will use also this by just increasing the diameter of this so I want this part of hand to a more bigger version like this and I want this part to more invert like this by the way same thing will be applied on these like inside edges so let's quickly reverse these edges to these so we will no longer face the same issue which I am facing right now here we go here we go yeah that's correct this thumb will be more like like this And it will be more like upward and now I'm gonna add small details for fingers and for doing that so select all these between edges and then go to a bit upward and then press 3 again and you will see the results straight away results and here we go and it will apply the same thing for this thumb you need this part to be more introversive And here we go let's see the result and after completing the geometry you will go to your top view and see what's expanding and what's extending and fix those small edges changes like this you need to edge one more edge here and one here these called sportive edges it will help you to keep your geometry in a shape this will go here and one more here and one more here it's not very high poly and it's even not very low poly you can use this model in a games in a animation it's not a very dense mesh neither it's a very low polygon in a faces 6 to 8 total faces are I think which is not very high 
so here we go if I'm gonna put some color on it this is not the skin color by the way so I think I need to manually figure it out what skin look like now these small changes you can fix by your own the purpose was this tutorial is to give you an idea that you can model your own blueprints or sketches as you can see now this is fixed and you can go for the next nail if you want to but I don't want it I hope you will like this video make sure you subscribe and make sure you hit the bell icon so you will get notification every time I will upload new videos thank you and Allah Hafiz